friends. I'm making some more Christmas candy. And this is my Christmas candy. I kind of come up with a recipe based upon several recipes. <laughs> and let's get started. So what I do is I use three cups of sweetened coconut. So we'll put our three cups of sweetened coconut in the bowl. And then I use a half of cup of very, very fine chopped pecans. And let me show you how fine those are. Very, very fine. This is gonna taste kind of like a mound or almond joy, but it has pecans, okay? And then we're gonna put a fourth of a cup, a fourth of a cup, a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla. And I like to use real vanilla, but you use what you want to, okay, or what you have. Sometimes real vanilla is a little harder to get. Okay, and then we're going to start off, if you'll get um, a 14-ounce size can of the sweetened condensed milk, that is just a smidgen more than a cup. We're going to go for about three-fourths of a cup to start off with. And we're going to just gradually add some at the end. And then we're just going to stir it up. We're going to start off with a, with a spoon. And then we may use our hands, okay? Because we want it good and mixed. All right, I can already tell that this is not going to be uh, wet enough. We want it the consistency of usually it, it takes about the whole cup. So let's go ahead and just pour in the whole cup. Okay. Kind of depends on your coconut. Sometimes your coconut is more um, wet or I don't know how you would explain it. Okay. And that is it. I don't even think I'm gonna to have to use my hands on this. This is really, really easy candy, and it's really, really good. And we're gonna roll these in little balls, and then we are going to dip them in our chocolate. Now that we got this all mixed up, we have a cookie sheet here with um, wax paper. And we are going to start rolling these in balls. And I just got a cookie sheet, I mean a cookie, uh, oh goodness. I just got this cookie scoop and I just get it because you kind of want them to be all uniform. And I just roll it in a ball just like that. Nothing special. You're going to get sticky. So, we're going to keep on rolling until I got all of these done. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I got them all done. And this recipe makes made 21 this time. Now, if you want yours a little bit smaller, you can use a smaller uh, cookie scoop or you can like one of the melon scoops that you do a melon with. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put this in the freezer and we're gonna freeze this for about 20 minutes until it gets a good heart because this is really hard to work with right now. You don't want to work with this right now. So 20 to 30 minutes or however long, it doesn't matter. Cause just we're gonna dip it in chocolate and it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the freezer. We will be right back. So we're gonna start dipping our candies now. And I'm going to put a half of a cup of milk chocolate. I had to get Nestle's. I really prefer the Ghirardelli, but um, I'm to settle for those. Next best thing. And then we're going to do also a half a cup of the semi-sweet. 
Now, if you like yours to be kind of shiny, something that I have found out that you can do uh, is you can put coconut oil or shortening with your, uh, when you melt this. So, half a cup of milk, half a cup of that, and we're going to do one tablespoon. As you do one tablespoon to one cup. Okay, so one tablespoon of the um, coconut oil. And that just kind of gives it the, the shine or sheen that you like. All right, we're gonna put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds and stir it and check it again. Now I saved some coconut and uh, little pieces of pecan, but they're too big. So I'm going to chop those up and this is going to be our topping, just to kind of decorate it with. So I'm just gonna chop that up real fine, and you're just gonna sprinkle just a tad on each one. Okay, check our chocolate. And we're probably gonna have to go for another 30 seconds. Now you can get one of those little tiny crock pots and do it in that. This is just as easy. So continue chopping that. And then I also got some little snowflakes. They're, some are blue and some are white. If you can see those, they're really cute. I'm not gonna probably use the blue ones, but I like the white ones. And then I've got some candy canes. These, um, there's some red ones and some white ones and I'll probably use both colors and then I'll use this uh, this coconut too. Check this. Yeah, that's perfect. It's got the good shiny to it. And we're just gonna drop them right back onto this cold pan, okay? So, stir until we melt those last couple of chips. You can use a toothpick to dip these in, or you can just use two forks, and that's usually what I like to do. Let's just use two forks. Dip it in. Kind of roll it around. And you almost need to decorate these immediately. Okay, to get it to stick. So let's see what the little candy canes look like. Okay, we'll do another one. This time we'll use some of the coconut. Just a little bit. You can also mix some um, white chocolate and you can do the drizzle, you know, the famous drizzle. You can put, either put it in a bag or the block bag is kind of the way I usually do it. Or you can use a bottle. Those are just hard to clean. Okay, and then we'll do a snowflake in the middle. And then I'll let you see it. That's pretty, I think it needs another one though. You can just play with it. You got sprinkles. You can you can do just about anything. And let me show y'all what it looks like really quick. I think maybe that uh, coconut one looks the prettiest. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing each one of these. And we'll be back when I get almost finished and we'll try one. Okay, I finished them, I've dipped them and there they are. And we're going to let those sit for a while until they get hard. 
And then I've got these little um, papers. They're really cupcake holders, but they're little papers. I found them in the wedding department. I like the white at Walmart and we're gonna put those in there and then we'll package them up. Uh, we are gonna, I'm gonna take these over to um, our Christmas Eve party and then we'll try one in a minute after they harden. Aren't they pretty? I think the ones with the dusted coconut, I think those are actually the prettiest. Okay, we're gonna start, I've put a few in the, in the liners and we're just gonna continue to do that. You might have to break off some of the edges if it, if it kind of, you know, spread. Just break off that edge and it'll just fit right down in that liner. Just like that. And I always keep me a little wet one just beside me so it doesn't make the next liner um, dirty looking. So I'm just going to keep on putting these down in here. And then we'll show you and we'll taste one. Okay, we got it all filled up. And then I got a gift, gift one over here too. Now this side right here is uh, called Grandpa's um, Christmas Candy. And that is my great grandpa's recipe. And if you want that, I can pin that in the um, comments section. He was a pie taster and he come up with that recipe. But let's go ahead and try this truffle. And I'm gonna cut it in half because, so that's what it's gonna look like. Isn't that pretty? Let's take a bite. Mmm. So, so good. It tastes like a mound candy bar, but better. <laughs> oh, that is so, so good. I should let it sit a little bit longer. It's still kind of not set, but oh. Heavenly, heavenly. Try this recipe for your Christmas family. They'll love it if they like coconut. If you like this recipe, Give us a thumbs up. I hope you're a subscriber. If you're not, hit the bell. Hit the subscribe button. Then yeah. check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Merry Christmas.